This is the Jewel Arena, a place where dreams come true or nightmares become a harsh reality. Added to the game the 25th of March 2004 as a way for players to be able to fight in a 1v1 setting, even being able to change different parameters of the fight, like for example you can make it so you can't move or you can add obstacles, that sort of thing. But today, unfortunately, it's the dark, seedy underbelly of RuneScape. As of November, there will be some massive changes to the Jewel Arena. And as of next year, it's going to be removed altogether. Which is a good thing, right? Well, I can't help but feel a little bit of sadness towards the removal, hence why I'm even making this video in the first place. As a way to sort of go over the pros, the cons, and just all round reminisce over the Sand Casino. So for those of you unfamiliar with the Sand Casino or Jewel Arena, it is a place in Al Karid where you can go and basically gamble as much money as you want. It's usually high level players with 99s in attack, strength, defense and hit points. This is to even the odds as much as possible and you can then set the perimeters so you can just use whips, can't move and it's basically a 50-50 chance of whether you're going to lose your whole bank or not. You could win but more than likely you're just going to lose all your money. So first things first, let's go over some of the pros of the Jewel Arena. For me, personally, it's a fun bit of content. I mean, I've made a couple videos here. Help, I even made a short where I lost one bill. Definitely not my greatest idea, but there's something about the Jewel Arena. Some of my best memories, funnest memories come from here. Me and my mates messing about losing all of our banks or getting that massive win and that endorphin rush nothing really beats the emotional roller coaster the jewel arena actually is and i'm really gonna miss it when it goes now another massive benefit of the jewel arena is the tax now how this works is after every single jewel a certain percentage depending on how much money you've staked will then get taken away as tax which leads to a massive gold sink, which is probably the biggest and only really decent gold sink in the game. As you can see in this tweet by Mod Lottie in 2018, the Jewel Arena removes 21 billion GP every day. And obviously that was in 2018, so you can imagine just how much GP goes through it now. Without this now, what's gonna happen to the economy? Honestly, it's hard to say what's going to happen until it finally does get removed from the game. It definitely concerns me a little, but I'm sure it will work itself out in the end. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, you probably should because it is guaranteed to give you better RNG. Just saying. So, now we've gone over the pros, it's time to go over the cons. And unfortunately, there's a lot of them. First off, the Jewel Arena is absolutely riddled with scammers. Just trying to get yourself a fair jewel has become a massive, anxious, horrible, nerve-wracking experience, which even the smallest bets now, I'm, I'm constantly worried that they're going to switch the food off. I know if you're super careful, you can get away with it, but it only takes that moment, slip in concentration, and you're going to lose all your money. In fact, I lost a lot of money once doing exactly that. I lost concentration for two seconds. And then halfway through the fight, the guy started eating. Absolutely destroyed me. Now, another big problem is real world trading. Now, 38% of all WRT bans stem from the Jewel Arena. That being said... I don't think this is going to be a big solution to that problem. People are still going to be buying gold. People are still going to be selling gold. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is that a lot of money is around the jewel arena at the moment. A lot of people buy it to stake and then a lot of people sell it to stake. But the money still stays around the jewel arena. Now with all that money in the game and the jewel arena being removed... One of my concerns is that all that money could end up moving to the normal RuneScape economy and could destroy a lot of prices of gear. Money could be absolutely worthless. I'm not too sure. And obviously, once again, it's hard to tell until it actually comes into play. 
it probably will help though long term. Eventually the market will settle and then this will clear a lot of the real world traders out of the game. But now what I think is probably the biggest of all the cons is the fact that this is gambling and unfortunately gambling is addictive. For most people like myself it can be a little bit of harmless fun. I'm only ever gambling what I'm willing to lose myself. But there is a very, very thin line before it becomes a lot more than that. And I know so many people who get that first win. And in a couple of months down the line, they've lost their banks. They're putting money into the game. And they're losing ridiculous amounts of real life money. At that point... This is sort of getting a little bit out of control and you have to remember that even some of the biggest gambling sites all have controls to limit how much you can bet per day but in old school runescape you can't do that in fact you can just gamble your whole bank buy loads of bonds with your own real life money and then do it again this is a massive problem the fact that it's uncontrolled as well brings a whole heap of issues so Weighing up the pros and the cons, honestly, as much as it pains me to say goodbye to the Jewel Arena, I think they are making the right decision. I just hope that they replace it with some decent content. I know they've mentioned like a 1v1 tournament PK in system. I think that would be a very, very good addition to the game. I mean, myself, I really want to get into PK in at some point, and I think that could be a great way to do it. So what is actually happening to the Jewel Arena? Well, as of November, they're going to be adding a limit of 10 mil to each jewel. And they're also going to be adding two new presets for whips only and then like a boxing only. And that is to combat scamming, which is honestly something they should have done a long, long time ago. And then after that, some point in 2022, they are going to be removing the Jewel Arena altogether, which... It's sad, it's a little bit sad, but overall, as I said, I think it's probably the right decision. Now I think there's only one thing left for me to do, and that is stake my bank one last time. So I'm literally here repairing all my gear, repairing all my Barrow's armour. But yeah, time to uh, rake in as much money as I possibly can, ready for the big one, ready for the big gamble. I'm a little bit nervous, definitely nervous. Well, there we go. That is pretty much my whole bank sold up. 501 mil, looking pretty poor. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it used to be a lot more than that. If I get scammed now, I will be very, very upset. 500 mil on the line. Let's fucking do this. Let's do this. I am bricking it. Here we go. Let's uh, spin it round to the way I want to spin. Come on. Okay. That's not a good start. That's not great. Nope. No. Okay. Oh no, this is not looking great. Oh my god. I fucking won. <laughs> I honestly did not think I was going to win this. Oh, my heart is racing. So there we go. What a way to end our whole Jewel Arena experience with a massive win. I honestly really didn't expect to win that, so buzzing. But a little bit sad that this is the end of the road. I think it is definitely for the best and I hope we get some decent content out of this. The PvP thing definitely sounds awesome so looking forward to that. I'm definitely interested to see what you guys think so yeah leave a comment below with uh, your opinion on this whole thing. And as always I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It helps the channel out massively. And as always I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.